unprecedented times, aka how to avoid Soviet Walmart and the Plague Locusts, if only for one item. Today we are going to do a fast, no need yeast bread that uh, is actually my mother's pizza crust recipe. It doesn't just have to be pizza crust, I've turned it into a lot of things and the people I know who enjoy eating this bread particularly, they just call it pizza bread. So we're going to start with the simplest version of this, it's straightforward, it's what's written down. Begin, preheat the oven, got that going. Next, we are going to dissolve one teaspoon of sugar into some hot water. Got to have something to give the yeast. Because they like to have their little yeasty parties. All right, go ahead and set that aside. Begin to put together your dry ingredients. In this case, we're looking at two and a half cups of flour. There's one, two. I'm not doing this in a horribly scientific way because it's one of those recipes that I know like the back of my hand. And I'm also really familiar with the, with the kitchen accoutrements I use. So there you go, there's a half. Next, we need a teaspoon of salt. Let's go ahead and do a tablespoon of yeast. I know that's more than most yeast bread recipes out there, but I find that this gives me the best result for doing things especially like hamburger buns, hot dog buns, dinner rolls. Plus my yeast is old, so we could stand a little extra. Alright, dry ingredients together. Let's go ahead and mix them up. Do a little well. Get your olive oil ready. Add your sugar water. And we'll say about a tablespoon of olive oil. Again, simple. You don't need the KitchenAid, you don't need a bread machine, you just need your hand. this going in here. It's going to be sticky. That's what you want. You need all those glutens to decide that they like each other and that they're going to get together. And make something that uh, is both pretty and tasty. And here we are. Got something that does a pretty good job holding a ball shape. If you want, you can go ahead and 
pat it together a little more. Don't worry about the crumbs in the bowl. Get all the goodies off your hand. Add a drizzle of olive oil. And a lot of recipes will say, you know, coat the bowl. Just a teeny bit more. Don't want any dry spots. There's that. Change out my gloves. Or at least the one that I just got olive oil all over. Cling wrap or a damp paper towel. Doesn't matter. Cover your bowl. And because your oven is already preheating, go ahead and let this sit for about five minutes, grab a drink, and then it'll be ready to form the loaf and put it in the oven. All right, we're back. Our dough has been doing its thing for the last five minutes, so it is time to form the loaf. Take that off. See, it's gotten a little bit bigger. You want to use a prepared pan. You can either grease it or don't necessarily advise using foil because that can get stuck in the bottom and then wind up with foil in your teeth and that's never pleasant. I typically use parchment. So go ahead and grab your ball of dough. Get your bowl out of the way. So there we go. And to form a really quick loaf, you gotta do this bit so that you can squeeze all the air. That might be hiding. in the ball so that uh, if you do decide to make sandwiches, your fillings aren't trying to fall through. If your dough gets too sticky, put a little more, more olive oil in your hands. Now what I've been doing is I turn it in so it looks kind of like the top of a mushroom and then once I get everything incorporated and I'm pretty sure that, that all the big bubbles are out, I go ahead and squeeze that closed. Got your beginnings of your loaf so now you want to shape it into a a specific shape or in this case I'm probably going to do garlic bread later tonight but I don't want to go through the hassles of either buying bread Or making a more traditional bread recipe. So there we go. I've got this shaped out the way I want it. Looks like that. 
could probably stand just a smidge more oil, but I'm not too worried about that right now. Sharp knife. This is just decorative. Alright, now we're ready. We're going to put it in the oven for about 25-30 minutes. And should have something very, very, very tasty come out when it's done. Alright, welcome back. It's time to pull this out of the oven. There we go. It's beautiful. It's fresh. Do not dive into it face first at this point. You will melt your face off. Now that it's out, one of the things you need to do is flip it over so that the bottom doesn't keep baking. And in this case, since I'm going to be working with it later to turn into garlic bread, Go ahead and move that onto a cutting board. Get our hot quarter sheet pan out of the way. And let this cool. We'll be back again to slice it up just so we can see what it looks like on the inside because I imagine it's going to be beautiful. Let's slice this open. Still very warm, but in this case, you can melt a little bit of butter into it still. And there we go. We've got a nice, fairly dense bread, because it is pizza dough, and it's had all of the big bubbles squished out of it. And it's quite possibly the fastest and most versatile bread recipe I have in my arsenal. So I hope you all take the time to give something like this a try. Again, avoid the plague locusts and enjoy your fresh bread. We'll catch you later. Bye bye.